Dharmala Shri. I hail from uh, Belur Karadipati village in Salem district. Like, and I studied schooling from Taharaja matriculation in Valapadi and then Sharada matriculation in Arthur. And I completed B.Tech Fashion Technology in Sona College of Technology, Salem. And I worked two years in Madhra Clothing, Blang Bangalore. And I started civil service preparation from 2014. And this is my fifth attempt. And I cleared this year and my AR rank is 409. Hobbies are uh, craft works, mainly from uh, plastic works and uh, recycled products, especially from waste materials like MCL or uh, pista shells and uh, any other used items like uh, carton boxes or used sari or something. And apart from that, I used to do uh, painting, acrylic painting and oil painting. And uh, whenever I was low, I used to do painting. And whenever I was, I'm not in a mood to study, I used to draw. There was no question about hobby this year interview. In my last interview, there was one question about hobby. Uh, that time I used to do glass painting as well. So Chaperson asked me about uh, which state, uh, in your state, which place is significant for glass painting. I told Tanjavur. And uh, they started further questions about uh, Tanjavur glass painting. My prelims preparation starts with uh, smart leaders and ends with smart leaders. Uh, right from the class, uh, from the day one, and I started using anxiety books and class notes. Class notes are the first one and the smart leaders book there because it is very small uh, so I can use it uh, for uh, studying and revision and uh, mainly environment and uh, geography and uh, history books I, I use the smart leaders book for revision and anxiety for uh, first and second reading and then with respect to prelims test series I preferred a uh, smart test series because it is the toughest uh, test series among among all the test series. Uh, initially, my first attempt and second attempt, I never uh, scored above 100 in Smart Readers Test Series because initially, I used to score 60 or 70 marks and uh, I know it was very low. So I used to go go to sir and ask uh, sir, whether I can clear this attempt or not with, because my mark is low. And sir used to say, Ma, this is a very tough uh, series. You will have uh, plus 40 as your uh, target in, uh, in in the main exam, I mean main UPSC uh, civil service prelims exam. So the same ha same thing happened in my second attempt, uh, I got 103.75, again 1.66 1 I missed that prelims. So uh, even we are getting very uh, low marks in prelims test series here, it doesn't bother, uh, bother us in our uh, final examination. So the next thing I tried in the prelims test series is I, I uh, tried to increase as 5 questions every exam, I tried to increase. So over a period of time, my marks uh, started above coming, coming above little 100, 100, 101, and then 104, sometimes 90, 99. This is my uh, range of my marks. How I improved uh, prelims test series marks and smart leaders? So first I didn't prepare and I went to write the exams, Sunday exams. I started writing the test. So I didn't get uh, the marks which I expected. But whenever I got low marks, my confidence gets uh, decreased. So what I did, I started uh, studying and uh, appearing for the Sunday test. Then uh, it was a marginal increase and not a uh, leap of marks. So I, I used to get 60 to 80 is the same range. So what I did, so I started giving the revision on Saturday. I kept Saturday for revision. And uh, whatever, whatever the subjects I read, if I am not able to complete the entire syllabus because we are not able to complete the syllabus in a week. So I didn't complete the syllabus, but I started to uh, revise whatever I read. So in that way, I tried the Sunday test. It worked very well for me. So whichever part I revised well, uh, the, my marks were marginally improved. Then I uh, started focusing on the current affairs. Curre with respect to current affairs part, Smart Leaders Current Affairs that final compilation book. So these helped me a lot. Uh, even uh, um, studying PIB or any other sources, it will waste our uh, time with respect to current affairs because we need to balance current affairs and conventional. So in that way, I improved my marks in current affairs. So in my third attempt, uh, prelims, my score was around 127.2. Uh, so it was a phenomenal increase in uh, third attempt prelims. So I uh, suggest my friends to follow uh, the similar strategy which uh, worked for me. and. Uh, Solving the previous year question, at least 50 to 100 questions daily MCQs. Uh, these will help us a lot. And whichever test series we are attending, whether it is uh, online, offline, so we need to revise those questions so that we can uh, parallelly uh, improve whatever the area we left. We, if we are not able to complete the syllabus, we can uh, revise in that way. So uh, revising the 
a serious question and uh, focusing and following the previous uh, questions and then the current affairs and revising the NCERT books at least twice. It helps us to crack even the forestry cutoff. Uh, this fifth attempt I clear the forestry cutoff. So it is working for me and uh, you can also apply that one. With respect to mains preparation and um, sticking to NCRT is my first advice because uh, history uh, I preferred NCRTs, NCRTs alone and, and in the but revising the NCRTs three to four times is must and uh, small principles and concepts there is a small book available here so I use that book uh, because uh, it is handy to revise it revise the concepts regularly and then uh, culture again NCRT culture and with respect to current affairs, I mean uh, IR or uh, polity uh, and uh, economy, um, I attended the Smart Leaders Current Affairs class for mains exclusively. So that gives an edge over other people because uh, I can get the uh, compiled answers from Sir Shivarat Sir and uh, Suresh Sir because even if I see the newspaper and uh, compiling the insights answers, I will not my answer will not be complete. So here I will get the complete pack. So 90% I won't miss the classes in the uh, classes of uh, current affairs by Shivaraj and uh, Suresh. So I used to attend regularly, and uh, in that way my current affairs parts of mains is over. And apart from that, I use the help of my friends, and we used to write regularly. Uh, we cannot write daily because uh, one other way we one other day we can miss the pattern. So how far it is possible, I used to write uh, from the. Uh, we will take the questions from newspaper or insights, and we used to write and get it corrected from Suresh or Sivaraj or Sadik sir. So in that way, whatever I wrote, I need to get it correct, and then uh, I need to reorient my strategy. Without writing, we cannot expect mains answer or uh, to improve. So this is the main mantra, and then. Uh, Keep one day for revision after writing Sunday test series because without test series uh, means uh, preparation won't be complete. So keep one day for revision and uh, write the test and uh, because in that test only we are able to be able to know ourselves uh, in three hours whether we are able to write or not, whether it is enough or not and how we are managing the unknown questions and uh, how, how is our handwriting because initially our handwriting will be very good in the first two two three questions in the 20th question it won't be good so the page utilization and uh, diagrams and uh, other things like uh, my handwriting was very poor when i started in 2014 sadik sir used to change my handwriting uh, like from join letters to uh, split the letters in the word so then and i went to sir and uh, he changed the answer writing adding some diagrams and presenting in a legible way uh, so sir changed my paper a lot and even my friend's paper sugar on uh, other papers also he changed a uh, paper presentation then we sat for uh, content improvement so content improvement is the introduction conclusion and whether we are answering all the part of the question and so these are the area we need to improve we cannot improve in a day so we need to write and uh, it, it is a phased manner improvement In, with respect to interview preparation, uh, knowing our uh, DAF is quite important and because we cannot fill the DAF with a full mind. We, we need to apply our mind while uh, filling the DAF. With respect to hobbies and uh, with respect to uh, our extracurricular activities, we need to be thorough with the area and the fringe areas of hobbies and other things. And uh, um, with respect to preparation, I used to attend the mock interviews here and uh, State Training Institute. So here I, I used to get the videos of mock interview so where I can see myself whether I am original or uh, some other person. So while seeing the videos I was able to know that I was not a real one. So I was fear and uh, my actions were not uh, proper in a way and uh, I didn't communicate what I meant to communicate to the uh, persons opposite to me. So in that way I improved that area and um, with a next uh, level of preparation is about collecting the opinions from the staffs. So I used to sit with sir whenever they are available. So both uh, Sadik sir, Shivaraj sir, I used to sit with them and uh, started collecting their opinions and they about the important issues. So whether my opinion is correct or not, uh, I used to sit with them and uh, made them the way which is accepted by interview panel. Uh, stress management is an important part in our preparation. If we are not clearing the prelims continuously, third attempt or fourth attempt the biggest stress will come and uh, meanwhile we don't have any economic backup so economic difficulties will be there financial difficulties we cannot ask our parents continuously to pay everyone rent and other things and attending classes fees and all and uh, uh, yes especially girls uh, marriage will be another factor of stress 
and uh, how to manage the stress mainly you can have a uh, friends so with the team if anyone is getting down other one will pull you up to study because uh, the group time won't be wasted so in that way you can uh, come across the stress and uh, with respect to other things i used to go to sir and ask sir whether what i'm doing is correct or not whether i can apply this thing or i need to quit the quitting uh, questions whenever my mind the uh, quitting questions has come i went to sir and uh, asked their uh, guidance that is the biggest uh, uh, thing i got here in smart leaders because both shivraj sir and sadik sir i used to sit with them and i asked sir uh, things are not going in my way so whether uh, Uh, can i put a break or uh, shall i continue and that is to say ma believe yourself whether you believe or not that is the thing so he used to repeat that thing and uh, that is the main uh, motivation and uh, apart from the stress management you can use your hobbies uh, hobbies are the biggest uh, boost for you because uh, temporarily you can get relief from your uh, studies and uh, worries because whenever i used to draw or paint at least over half an hour or uh, one hour i can escape from this and other than that we'll go for a entertaining movie one or two movies we'll uh, will go and um, i love to have uh, good foods available so in that way we can come out but but we cannot continue this so one day or two day it is acceptable so again we need to bounce back and sit for uh, studying we kept a uh, one day or 3 hour or 4 hours for uh, our stress relief activities and then we need to come and take the books as i mentioned earlier my preparation starts here and ends here right from prelims uh, test prelims uh, books and uh, mat- materials test series i attended here so the contribution of smart leaders team is uh, quite high sir uh, played an important role sadik sir and uh, shivra sir pl- played a significant role well, uh, they were present to pull me and uh, again i started my uh, running uh, i mean i started my race and, and then i moved so wherever i stuck is uh, both both are present to pull me towards the race in so they made me to be in inside the uh, success so entire team helped me to achieve the success thank you